I think dream date is about the disconnect between what we think we want and what we actually need. I believe it also suggests that perfection is overrated and definitely has a shelf life. We all experience our ups and downs, and that's a good thing. Otherwise, our lives would be boring, predictable, and in the long run, unsatisfying. But if you prefer to think the play is a cautionary tale against treating your unconscious like a singles bar, that's okay too. Love and death are great subjects for comedy because they both constantly loom over our lives, making it easy to obsess about them. And as with any obsession, this can invite exaggeration, parody, and outrageous antics. It's no coincidence that the title of one of Woody Allen's comic movies is Love and Death. But of course, love and death are also great subjects for tragedy. The upshot, no matter what you're writing, toss in a little love and death, and you should be good to go. If I could go back in time, my dream date would, of course, be my wife, the lovely Mrs. Borngesser. What I think you're really asking is, who would be my second choice? It would most likely be Dorothy Parker, American poet, critic, and satirist in the early 20th century. And if a dream date or two with Dorothy Parker got me a seat at a dream Algonquin round table with her and her literary chums, so much the better.